What's up sis? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite business coach Amani Jelena or Coach Jelena and I'm back with another video for you. This video here is going to be all about the mistakes that I've made during my five year entrepreneurship journey when running my hair company and I'm here to tell y'all the tea. I'm here to tell you the mistakes I made so that you don't have to make those mistakes and if you're out there and you need a little bit of assistance within your journey of entrepreneurship, make sure you go ahead and book a one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me or go ahead and book a free discovery call so we can figure out the problems that you're having within your business and then fix those problems by coming up with strategic solutions that'll help you on your journey of entrepreneurship when running a hair company or a beauty-based business. And really quickly, I wanna highlight one of my subscribers, Ellie. Ellie is a subscriber and she left me a super amazing comment and I want to say thank you Ellie for supporting me and speaking upon the investment you made with me and working with my company to help elevate your business. So I want to say thank you girl and I look forward to hearing more amazing updates regarding you and your business in the future. I love chatting with you guys in the comments so make sure you guys don't forget to thumbs up this video and also leave some comments below so I can interact with you guys. But I know we're here for a good time not a long time so we're just gonna jump right into the video so the first mistake I made in business was number one I was underpricing myself for so freaking long I I feel as though in the early stages of entrepreneurship I was trying to please everyone else with my prices that I started discounting myself in the quality of my products so that's the first mistake that I made so if you're out there and you have a hair company or beauty based business and you're trying to figure out prices and all that good stuff honestly just leave a comment below and if I get enough comments below about pricing I'll make a full video on how to properly price your products because girl when I say it's a formula and the markup percentages and the market prices that you have to follow in order to profit appropriately for your business and this is something that I did not know coming into business I was just doubling wholesale prices in order to profit and things like that when that is not how it is done uh, so that's the first mistake that I made and like I said if you guys want a video all about pricing your products drop it in the comment section and I'll make a full video dedicated on how to price your products but the problem is I was trying to please everyone else instead of focusing on the actual quality of my product so one thing I learned is do not discount yourself to please everyone else that's number one the second mistake that I made in business was hear me come here hear me out was not having backup vendors and what happened to me by not having backup vendors I had late orders it was bad communication between vendors it was just a shit show because I was solely relying on one vendor to fulfill every single thing when it came to my business and something horrible that happened to me once my vendor went MIA and I needed orders and I didn't have any hair on hand to send out orders which what made me have unsatisfied customers so that's the first thing if you have a hair company or a beauty based business make sure you have not one not two but three vendors on lock that have the same amazing quality hair so that if one vendor flakes on you you'll have backup vendors that can cater the same quality hair that you're used to catering with your main vendor so that's the second issue that I had or the second mistake rather that I had when owning a hair company now mistake number three that I had was th was thinking everyone was my customer I feel like that's a very naive way of thinking but in the early stages of business you feel like you can supply products to any and everybody that's willing to pay a little coin and that's not the case I want you guys to remember everyone is not your customer you don't want everyone to be your customer because everyone is not for you so something that I had to learn was narrowing down or figuring out exactly who my target demographics were so that I can be able to cater directly towards them and be able to supply the best products possible for them and, and with all of that being said, I did not know who I was selling to. I didn't know what target area of people I wanted. I just wanted any and every one when now, five years later, I know exactly who my target demographics are. I know exactly who I'm selling to. I know what age range they are. I know if the people that I'm targeting can afford my products and so forth. So something that I want you to do if you haven't already, figure out essentially who you're selling to. And once you figure out who you're selling to, it'll be easier for you to pay for advertising. It'll be easier for you to know who to promote to 
or who to promote through to make sure they have the target audience that you're essentially looking for. So mistake number four that I made was not holding myself accountable. And what I mean by that is I'm only one person. You're only one person. You can't do it all on your own. And I felt like I was a superwoman at one point and could think I could do every single thing for my business. And that wasn't the case. In my opinion, it's only two options you can have for your business when you're holding yourself accountable or needing assistance. It's either it's only you running your business, responding back to emails, getting your websites together, running your Instagram pages, social media pages, sending out orders, all that good stuff. You're either going to plateau your business and it's going to stay the same. You're not going to elevate your business or ask for additional help when needed. And one thing I want you guys to remember, it's okay to ask for help. If you need someone to be able to just deal with the communication aspect of your business as far as sending out emails, answering the phone, however you operate your business, ask for it. If you need someone to run your Instagram page or your social media platforms, ask for it. But don't always put the load on you. That's something that hindered me a lot within my business. And it was one of those things where I felt like I could be the only one to get the job done when that's not essentially the case. So it took me a point in time where I had to hold myself accountable for having unsatisfied customers and me figuring out different solutions and ways to be able to satisfy my customers while also getting everything else ran properly within the business as well. So asking for help was one of the biggest issues that I did have in holding myself accountable. So it came to a point in time where I had to check myself and be like, what do you want? Do you either want your business to say the same or do you want it to elevate? And of course I chose elevation, which required me to then need outside help when it came to actually running my business. And then the final mistake that I made when running a hair company online was not using automations. I know you guys are probably like, girl, what? But automations are your friend. Automations are set up so that you don't have to respond back to every email. Automations make it a lot easier for you when people abandon their carts or even sending out email marketing emails. Automations are your friend and I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes I did as far as not utilizing those different sources that are available for you to use. So setting up automations when people subscribe to your newsletter, setting up automations, there's different automation systems out there that send chronological emails depending on when a customer or a future customer signs up to your newsletter. So if you want them to receive an email in five days, or 10 days after they subscribe to your newsletter, things like that are out there for you guys to utilize. Now, if you do want more information when it comes to different automation setups or how to send out emails that send more so in a chronological order or anything like that, just put it in the comment section and I'll make sure I get around to creating a video like that for you all. But like I said, we're here for a good time, not a long time. Those are the five mistakes that I've made in business. There's been plenty other mistakes that I've made in business, but those are going to be my top five. If you did like this video, make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm and it's a way to help your girl out. But other than that, I love, love, love each and every single one of you guys. Thank you guys for continuing to support me along this journey of entrepreneurship. And if you guys do need assistance in any area of your business as far as creating strategies for sales, getting customer sales funnels, things like that, make sure you go ahead and book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me or a free discovery call. And I will see you guys in my next video.